Today we're going to be talking about the Milesy DP20 Pro Bilateral Laser Distance Meter. This is a pretty cool tool and to put that into layman's terms it is basically a digital tape measure with a lot of super cool functions and we're going to get into that right now. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff and this is Detroit DIY. Let's get this thing unboxed and have a look at it. The DP20 Pro has a measuring range of 393 feet and it is extremely accurate in that distance. I would, I feel like it would be a waste of time to do a video testing this thing's accuracy because they are that accurate. Here we have it out of the package comes in a nice clean box protected for shipping we also get a carrying case and in, in the carrying case is the USB cord for charging it does have a lithium battery in it it's a pretty awesome setup I've played with it a lot I've played with it enough to understand it and in all of that time, I still have not yet killed the battery. So the battery lasts a long time. The case itself is made out of aircraft aluminum. It is very durable. We have a nice little cover here on the USB port. I really like that a lot. We also have a third laser right here for marking. We'll get into that in a little bit. Now this has the ability to do bilateral measurements which means a measurement from either side or you can butt it right up against your surface and do a single measurement it also has the ability to do to stake out and you would use this third laser to do that it also has the ability to do area measurements meaning square footage volume measurements auto level distance measuring and auto height finding which is a really cool feature i think what i like the most about this is the staking out feature which would come in super handy when you're laying out tile or flooring or you know wall tiling anything like that this auto staking out feature is awesome let's get this thing turned on milesy did send this out to me a little while back and I have been a little bit slow in getting this video together. They've been very patient and I'm very appreciative of that. I am going to say right up front, there are a lot of things I like about this. So we have several buttons here and some of these are, are self-explanatory. So to turn it on, we're just going to hold this center button for a second and it's going to pop up and look like that. Now you're seeing something different than I'm seeing. You. I do not see those fluctuations that the lighting and the camera are creating when I hold it up there. I see a very steady, smooth image. Right now, this is set up to make a bilateral measurement, meaning we would set it right down in the wherever between the two objects. We're going to use these two pieces of wood that I have set here. In fact, let's move this one in a little bit so you can see it. Move it more towards the center. We're going to push the button one time. You're going to see those red lasers pop up on both of those pieces of wood. That means that it is now ready to take a measurement. So we go ahead and push the button again and we have our measurement. The measurement is one foot 11 and three quarters of an inch. And it's also telling me that one direction is one foot and one quarter inch and the other direction is 11 and a half inches. Now, because this is the DP20 Pro, we have an option to change to a ultra large screen. So we'll have one foot 11 and three quarter inches on there. And if we lay it back down, we clear it, we go to the large screen and we ask for a measurement, then it will come up like that in the large display. In the large display, it is not gonna show you the broken down version of each distance. This button here is also the button you would use for Bluetooth. They do have the DP20 Pro is the only one that this is available for. An app that you can download on your phone from the Play Store or from Google Play. 
and you can sync your phone that app to this device and in doing so you can store all of your measurement on your phone through this device it is a pretty cool setup you can also operate this through your phone once they're synced together so while we're still in the bilateral mode we're going to come over here to this yellow button right here and this yellow button is pretty cool because you can see it says one sixth one seventh one eighth one ninth one tenth one eleventh one twelfth one thirteenth one fourteenth one fifteenth one sixteenth one half that's what we're going to play with is the one half measurement now what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to place this exactly in the center of these two boards this is a super cool function due to the fact that this center laser which we're going to turn on with this button right here so the center laser i have to hold it for a second is now on and you can see the red line admitting right here now when i push the button here to ready it for a measurement it's going to tell me where center is which is really cool so it's telling me that i need to slide it this way a little bit right there is half it is happy with that i can press it again and it locks it into place so i'm exactly in the center and it's telling me my measurements between the two and we can do that again so now i would just take a pencil mark my red line and i have the exact center that i need to work with and that is amazing when it comes to laying out flooring or laying out wainscoting and it'll let you break it down into multiple so you can go to a fourth or a sixth so if you wanted your wainscoting to have six panels on a wall you could lay out very very quickly with this this is in my opinion a trim carpenter's dream this device right here because of the fact that you can it'll do layout and that's huge in time savings as a, compared to pulling out your tape measure measuring it up dividing it by six spaces getting your measurements and doing your layout when you can just slide this along the floor and mark the, the wall where needed for your layout this is amazing that has to be what i feel like is one of or the coolest feature in this unit is the that center laser and the fact that it can lay things out so we go here to clear what we were doing we push it one time it clears everything up now we can come over here to mode and mode is going to show this which is a bilateral measurement mode is going to show this which is square footage and that is two measurements so you would lay it down you would get a measurement this direction from the corner and then the same thing in the other direction from the edge of the wall and it will give you your square footage very very cool feature it'll give you volume and this is the auto level mode this mode can be used for calculating a distance when you do not have a level surface to lay the device on it's a pretty cool mode i'm not certain how much i would use it but it is awesome that they put it in here and this is the height mode and this can be used to determine the height of a structure and it's pretty cool because it would be really handy for siding layout or you know any type of sheathing layout on the outside of a building maybe not something that a diyr would dig into all the time but nonetheless it is a really cool mode to have in here so now that we've gone through the modes we have our units of measure so we have feet and inches with fractions we have meters we have just feet and that'll break it down into tenths if you do a measurement let's pull a measurement real quick and see what we get So it gives it to us in hundredths 
of an inch, so it would be 1.978 feet. Not something that a lot of people may find useful. This would be more something that a machinist may use as opposed to a carpenter or a finished carpenter or a DIYer. We can go just strictly inches. We'll do the same thing. We'll take a measurement. It'll be a bilateral measurement in inches. And it is going to come up as a total of 23 and 3 quarters of an inch between these two pieces of material. Then we can go back to what we were. Now our center arrow right here turns our center laser on and off. This arrow right here will turn us into a single measurement. Let's get back to that mode. This will turn us right into a single measurement. Press it, hold it. Now in this mode, we would just strictly be up against one side of the material. You can see the laser over there. We push the button again, and it gives us our measurement of one foot 11 and 11 sixteenths of an inch. And then it's the same thing with this button here. And now we can do the same thing, but from the opposite direction. It's reading our measurement. And there it is. It should be exactly the same. One foot 11 inches and 11 sixteenths. This is a really cool device. I'm very happy that Milesy sent this out to me to give it a go through, to be able to review it, and to do a video for you guys. And I, I think it's incredible. I like the way that they've covered up this USB port. It also has a tripod mount. I think that is pretty cool. So you can get this thing hung up on a tripod and get all your measurements out. It might have been cool had they done something over here on this side to get a tripod mounted up this way so the screen would be a little easier to see in higher applications. But all in all, guys, I think this thing is pretty amazing. I would like to thank Milesy for giving me the opportunity to review their product. And like I say, I, I could see a couple of things being different here. But all in all, I really like this. And that staking out feature to me is amazing and a time saver. And that is something that anyone could use. This particular unit sells for around $200. However, I found a deal on Amazon. I'm going to put a link down in the description to that deal. And it will save you a ton of money. If the Bluetooth compatibility isn't really your thing, they have just the DP20, which has all the features that this same unit has, except for that's not Bluetooth compatible, and it does not have the extra large display. And that runs around $139, typically on Amazon. I will look to see if I can find any deals on that, and I will also put link for that in the description. If you've ever used any other distance meters, some of them are not laser devices. Some of them are sound devices. They shoot a ultrasonic type sound wave out of the unit it hits the surface and it bounces back and the amount of time that it takes for that to leave and return gives you your distance in some instances in different wall surfaces it can give you inaccurate measurements because of a harder wall surface versus a softer wall surface it just can give you inaccurate measurements because this is a laser type setup it is more apt to give you that precise measurement this unit is going to give you a measurement plus or minus one sixteenth of an inch which is an, an incredible accuracy for something like this and the little bit of testing i did with it it was dead on to what i set up with the tape measure and the last little tip i want to give you is to check your tape measures with this so that you know lay out something that's per se a foot wide set this in there measure it and then measure it with your tape measure in the last four years i have had some tape measures that were inaccurate so just check your tape measure to this device before you measure it measure it with your tape measure cut it bring it in there and go what happened it's not right always check your tape measures there's some really bad stuff going around in the last few years probably one out of six that i messed with in the store i'm going to do a video on it here in the near future 
are inaccurate. So just make sure you check that tape measure in conjunction with this. This is more accurate. You can trust this more than you can trust most tape measures. And remember, if you use those links in the description, I do receive a small percentage from those purchases. If you enjoyed yourself, click on one of the two videos that are going to pop up next to me. And remember to always respect the power of your power tools. We'll see you soon.